So doing a little update here on day three. I was feeling so triumphant about planting the new plants in here. I came out and looked over here and um, everything was pretty much torn up. Some sort of animal, probably a raccoon or something, was probably drinking from the pond or something and then just decided to have a little snack and basically tore up a whole bunch of the, the plants here. As you can see some of the bites right there. And uh, just kind of tore everything up here. I guess the cabbage or the lettuce is still doing it. Eh, kind of fair with the high, highest sense. You can see right there it's been nibbled on quite a bit. It pretty much tore up about I would say probably 75% of it is pretty much gone. And then as far as the fairy moss, it doesn't appear to be doing all that well either. So unfortunately, I would call that pretty much a fail unless something dramatically changes. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and test the water over here. Got to do this last time. So this is about six days in now. So we have our test strips right here. This is a new strip. As you can see, it's set to zero. Stick this in. Ooh. Interesting. So this is 100% rainwater. Whereas this over here is about 80% city and chemical stuff and maybe 20% rainwater. So this is very interesting right here. Quite a bit different on our pH. pH is actually good. Pretty close to neutral. Just 7.2 maybe. Carbonate is pretty close to ideal. Uh, alkalinity is pretty close to ideal too. See, it's Interesting though. Look at the chlorine though. How the hell can that have 5 point or 5 parts per million chlorine when nobody stuck any chlorine in there? How, how is that possible? That doesn't make any sense. And then we've got general hardness about 120. And the nitrate and nitrite are both zero which is what we want. Interesting. So here's some of our plants that have, have arrived finally. Um, this is uh, the first three orders. Um, these were all purchased on eBay. Three different people. All purchased on a Thursday and they all arrived on a Thursday in the evening. Now we're on a Friday here. We're going to go ahead and plant these today. Um, but I just want to give you an update of what the experience is like. So it's my first time doing this as well. So right here we have some Piccolo, pick, pickle, L, rush. This is supposed to be one of the best um, bog plants. It really purifies the water. It's like it's like the like the number one plant, pretty much. That all everybody that has a water garden has has this plant in it because it just works so well. So I'm really excited about getting that. And it looks pretty good. There's this is how it's arrived. It's green still, and so this is going to be in our bog area, formerly the spa. And then over here we have the, um, oh yes, the water iris, the water iris, um, another bog plant, so this is going to be going into the spa. Um, this one, actually we don't know, it's wrapped in, a, oh yeah, it looks like there is green, I was a little worried because at first glance it looks like it's all brown, I thought, oh god, it's dead. But actually if you look a little closer there's a little green in there, so it's wrapped in paper. So I think that's still green, hopefully. It just thinks it's been nighttime for the last week, I guess. <laughs> the darkness in the box. Um, anyway, we'll be unpacking now. Go over that later. Um, and over here, we have some hornwort. Now, this is the kingpin of all auctionators. This is basically a submersible plant. This pretty much grows in any kind of water, any kind of condition. As long as it's not too dark. Um, it does need light but um any kind of water pretty much it, this is going to purify our our pond really nicely so this is horn where we got we got uh three of those five, five of those three of those and then three of these 
Okay, so here's what we have here when you take the rubber band off. So I guess they sell these as bunches. So that's one bunch, this is another bunch, and this is another bunch. And when you untangle it, you basically have this. So yeah, you can basically put this in a substrate and then try to kind of keep it positioned if you want it to be stationary. But I think ideally, this is just going to float on its own. Or, or not float, but just kind of kind of work its way around wherever it wants to go, I guess. I don't know, depending on the current. So if we just put it in like that. It's supposed to grow like crazy. We need some coverage. It's really sunny and bright here, so anything we can get. Oh, see it's kind of starting to sink on its own. So this should we should have much better results with this than we did with the hyacinth and the and the uh, water lettuce. Well, water hyacinth and water lettuce. Wow, look at that! It's just sinking right down. <laughs> Interesting. Down to the to the abyss <laughs> disappears. Now, see, that's one thing I'm a little worried about. I don't want it going down too far. I think I'll just let this float in here just as an experiment. This is definitely a safer spot being raised up and being away. Whenever I've seen raccoons or anything else like squirrels, it's usually over here. Usually at that end. Up here it's kind of raised closer to the house, a little bit safer. I think this would probably be a safer spot for it. So when I do get the other shipment of water hires and and water lettuce, I'm going to put them up here, at least for now. And then as they grow, then we'll move them from there up down here to the bigger area. Next we're going to go ahead and plant our first of our two bog plants here. Piccolo, Piccarel, i got to pronounce that, I learned how to pronounce that. Piccarel Rush has a nice purple flower, just a nice lush green very good at purifying the water so what we're going to do here there's a couple different techniques but i think this is going to work best for us um so you can buy these these little these are four inch pots here with all the slots in and everything nice and open so water can freely come in and out of it but it keeps it in a in a in a form so one, one way to do it is, I think it's the naturally grow, they grow in like on a marshy kind of bog type of uh, area. Um, so whether that's mostly water or some dirt mixed in with it, that's completely variable. But so what we're going to do here is I'm going to try to keep the dirt down, we don't really want too much dirt here. So I'm going to go ahead and use our, our stones here that we got. I mentioned before, pea gravel or pea pebbles and that all-purpose stone. We've got a couple of different sizes here. We can kind of just mix and match as we need to. Probably start with the bigger stuff. And we'll basically just plant that in there for now. And then as it grows, well, first of all, we'll be able to, by keeping it in the, in the pot, we'll be able to simply place this down. Because you have to keep the leaves out of the water. So it wants lots of water, but the leaves have to be out of the water. So what we'll probably do is just lay it right here to start. As it gets to be bigger, we'll simply move it down and that's another step. Okay, I think this one's looking pretty good now. I don't want to go too crazy with the pea gravel here. You just want to have it so that it keeps it in position. You can see that this plant's already almost outgrowing this thing. So maybe I would recommend getting some bigger pots. Four inches might be a little bit too small. At least if you're going to get plants that are this big. I wasn't sure how big these are going to be though, to be honest. But they might be just little rhizome pieces or something, in which case, or a bulb, in which case this would be ideal. But anyway, it looks like we got, this looks good right here. Keep that in like that, so that keeps it positioned. Keeps it away from the edge too, so if an animal tries to eat it, they won't be able to get to this one without diving in. 
and so it gets full sun exposure and then as it gets a little bit bigger we'll simply move it down a notch there's another step down a little bit lower and then there's a, a deep center for the feet this being a former spa there's like a bench that goes all the way around and a deeper in the middle and this is kind of a step right here so we should be able to use some different kinds of blocking to get us to get the height just right I'll have to play around with that but anyway that's one end so let's go ahead and get the others in okay so I thought something was looking a little fishy here so we've got more than five here this is uh, five right there and we still got more in here so I don't know what they gave me they must have gave me a 10 pack or something Okay, I continue to plant here, so I found some bigger pots here that are free from other stuff that I planted. So these are nice recyclable planters here. So I think this is going to work for some of the big stuff. So I got three in here, two in here, and this will work, I think, for deeper areas. We could just let that go in there, like so. And that keeps it stationary. So that's it. So I'm only putting enough stones in it to keep it stationary. It doesn't need anything more than that. I think these are going to work really nicely. I've also got three little ones that I planted over here. So that way it keeps them nice and shallow so that the leaves have access to sun. Actually, we'll put this one on the other side of the pool here. Let's put it on, the, on this side over here. So let's put this right here. Should give it good sun and keep it away from the edge. Let's see what's in the brown bag here. Nicely sealed. Ah, we have some nice green in here. So this is the water iris. Give me a second. Up. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. Now this is similar to the the land or the dirt iris. It's just water. Okay, wait a minute now. I thought I ordered three. <laughs> what is going on here? This is crazy. I ordered three, I thought. Wow. Man, I have to say, these eBay, eBay sellers, gotta give them credit though. Exceeding my expectations for sure. Look at that. Yeah, that looks lovely. Okay, so these are not fitting in the small pots, so fortunately I have a bunch of recycled uh, planters here, a little bit bigger. So these are free. And uh, only one is going to fit in this little thing here. So I think we can just stick these in. Once again, we're going to have to probably upgrade it fairly quickly. It's a little difficult to keep the leaves above. There's really no leaves on that one. How am I supposed to keep the leaves out of the water? if there are no leaves. So I think these could probably be some, some submerged down in here. Let me see. This is a pretty safe spot right here. Nothing's going to get to that. So here's a little update on our lily lotus seeds that were planted. So it's now been six whole days and pretty much nothing happening. All right, so we have another package here. This was actually the very first thing I ordered on Amazon. Um, it's a, Amazon's a portal for this nursery that sells on there. It was supposed to be here 10 days ago. This was ordered 17 days ago. So for all I know, this has been in a box for 17 days. I mean, this is freaking ridiculous. Um, we're gonna find out what is in here um, hopefully it's not dead. We uh, we ordered two highest two water hyacinth 
and then two water cabbage or water lettuce. The same type of plants that we ended up buying locally um, because these didn't arrive. That was one of the main reasons, but this is a better price per plant, $4 per plant. So anyway, let's open this thing up and see what we got. Okay, well, surprisingly, they're green. That's actually not too bad. Let's inspect this a little bit closer here, see what we got here. Okay, so here's what we have here. So it's kind of interesting. So the water hyacinth, these are big, beautiful uh, specimens right here. This is quite a bit different than what I got locally. These things are huge in comparison. We got two of them. Lots of leaf area. Quite, quite a bit bigger than what I purchased locally. But the water lettuce, on the other hand, are kind of tiny. So there's supposed to be two of each. And what we have here are four little ones. Kind of strange. An odd mix. Man, those are much better quality. So once these start to grow, then we can move them down here. These we'll put here. Going up there. See what happens. Right, doing a little update here. It's now day 14, so it's been two full weeks since we started our project here. Doing a general update here. Um, so, good news and bad news. Bad news is. A lot of our plants have seemed to died back or passed completely. Um, everything that was in the pond area has either been severely um, damaged and or dead completely. So those first plants that we lost early on, that was not a coincidence. There's, I believe we have some toxicity in here that's, that these plants are not able to handle. On the other hand, over here in the spa area, um, plants are doing pretty good. So what I've done is I've, I've moved some of the ones that were very ill that were in the pond, these in the back here, that were over there. I moved them into this area since we know this area is, um, appears to be safer for them. Um, so here's a good example right here. So the water lettuce, we had four of them that just a couple days ago I put these in. I put these two right here were in over there and I just put them in here today hopefully to salvage them before they die completely but you can see the difference you know these were basically similar when we placed these in if you go back and so the other one's doing pretty good too so the four of them two the two that were in here are doing fine and then the two that were in the other area are pretty much looking pretty close to dead so anyway so we're going to learn some more information here. This will help you guys out when you're doing this yourself. Um, so yeah, definitely test the water. See, this is looking pretty nice here. I think this is looking pretty happy. That one too. It's kind of floating around. Um, so yeah, let's uh, continue on here. Let's go ahead and, and test the water again. So here's our test kit out again. Got a fresh strip right here. So all these numbers should be as close to the left as possible would be preferred. We know it was pretty bad last time. Let's see if it's gotten any worse. Two seconds. It's obviously killing our plants, so it can't be too good. So yeah, here we go again. So we know the pH is high. We know the alkalinity is a bit high. This time the chlorine's showing zero. Huh. Interesting. 
but we know the degenerative hardness is off the chart, as you can see on the right there. Now we, this other stuff appears to be in the middle here. We got a little high on the night trite, a little bit, not too bad, on the upper range of the night trite, or maybe over. But uh, anyway, that's what we got for the pool at the 14 day mark. So they recommend to let it sit for a few minutes, so if I do that, the chlorine level went up a little bit. So it's about the way it was before, at about 1. So that might be a problem, I'm not sure where that's coming from still. There hasn't been anything added since 6, six months ago, so I'm not sure how there could be more stuff coming in here. But the pH level is really high. Carbonate level is at 120, so that's fine. Alkalinity looks to be at about 180, that looks to be fine. Chlorine's at one part per million, which is nothing too crazy, but it's not that preferred zero. General hardness seems to be off the chart here, super high. Calcium and magnesium is what that would be. Nitrates should actually help the plant, not really hurt it, but that seems to be up around 100 little out of range there and then our nitrite something around one parts per million so not the zero but the so it's really not super terrible other than general hardness and pH those are the only things that are really off the charts here okay, so now we're going to go ahead and test the water right here now we know just a week ago it was looking pretty good pretty safe I believe and is evidence from the plants, I think, and the other life that are in here. The things swimming around in here are alive and well. So I expect this to be about the same as before, yeah. Looks to be about the same as before. So going from the top down, where's nitrates at zero, nitrites at zero, which is ideal. General harness is Looks about 120, which is much significantly less than the other area. Chlorine's, oh, that's looking pretty close to zero now. I believe that was showing one last time. Well, maybe it's gonna change if we wait a little bit. Might be 0.5 parts per million. And then total alkalinity looks to be, looks about 80. It's actually relatively low. It's a, yeah, maybe 80 to 120. It's pretty close to ideal. And then carbonate looks to be about 80 to 120 as well. See those two right there, right in the middle. So that's pretty close to ideal. And then a pH is looking to be right about 7, which is neutral, perfect. So there's probably a lesson to be learned here as to why things are succeeding over here and failing so miserably over here. And here's a little update on our lily lotus plants. It's been two whole weeks. Uh, we're starting to give up on them. It looks kind of, the water looks a little murky and uh, we haven't drained it or anything. We just let everything, just let it sit. Um, I've been taking it outside for, on the sunny days, let it warm up a little bit just naturally from the sun hitting it and then take it back in at night. Generally, they've been inside probably 10 days out of 14. Um, and so I was about to give up on them. I was starting to think that way. But then I noticed there was a little bit of a th green right here happening. And if you take away this, this thing here, we actually got some hidden underneath the uh, canopy here of debris. We've actually got some life in here. So this is quite, quite nice to see. It only looks like we've got one or two, maybe three or four. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like just five so far, but that's only so far. So we definitely got something going here. To be very careful with these, very delicate. So I put four of them in this, this basket right here. I think this is going to work for us for now. Those are the four biggest. I left the other one in here and it looks like there's another, there's a couple others. This one's cracked. 
This one's got a little sprout coming out of it. This one over here, there's another one right here. It's got a little green coming out of it. So it looks like we've got at least... Oh, this one's, this one's looking pretty good right there, too. Oh. So we've got several of them. Yeah, we've got at least another three, four, five in addition to the four. So we've got at least nine of them that are showing life. So anyway, let's go ahead and put these in the water. Just do this experiment and see how this turns out. I don't know if I should cover this with water or cover it with gravel. I mean, they're not going to go anywhere. Nothing's going to eat them or anything. So I think we can just put them right here. Okay, some more plants have arrived. We have some nice uh, underwater plants again. So these are some more oxygenating and uh, water purifying plants. Um, I forgot the name of it. I'll post it right here. Um, it's kind of difficult to pronounce. Um, it's supposed to be some of the best uh, variety. So these uh, I ordered just three days ago on eBay and uh, they got here pretty quickly. One, one reason why is because they're only about 65 miles away from where I live. So so pretty much mailed it one day, got here the next, so with a day delay or something. So anyway, so let's see what we have here. Wow, these are kind of small. So I thought we were supposed to get 10, 10, 10 stems in a bundle, although it's kind of hard to gauge what that means. And so basically there should be 30 stems, and I was under the impression that would be a significant amount. We don't... This doesn't look like a whole lot here. Jeez. That's kind of small. Looks like it's got some weights on it here to keep it weighted down. These are looking like pretty nice healthy plants here. I am kind of surprised by how small they are. As you can see, pretty small. Not even a hand size. Not exactly impressed with that, but this is supposed to be one of the super fast growers. Since they have weights on them, I think we can just basically... I think it's designed for an aquarium type environment, so we should be able to just put it right about there. I think the water's about 12 inches deep or so. Kind of see it right there. So as that comes up to the surface, then we'll know that it's healthy. Well, we know it's going to grow here because other stuff's growing. So once it's proven to flourish, then I'll then I'll go ahead and transplant them over to the more toxic, bigger pool. So yeah, we'll just let these go right there. This water should clear up a little bit too, especially since we have so many plants in here now. And then as far as some of our hornwort is concerned, we I just transferred this over from the pond area up here to the safer water. Because it doesn't look all that healthy to me. So I'm going to do a little experiment. One piece is there, and then one piece is still in here. So I've got this anchored down, so I'm going to monitor this closely and just see what happens. So these both... Basically, both those pieces were in here, and then I just transferred the one over to the outside in hopes that it's going to grow better, because this is not looking all that hot. And with all the other death and destruction that's happened over here, I feel like... I'm not sure if this water is just too toxic for these plants, because this is one of, supposed to be one of our stronger plants. One of the best, at, most tolerant at all conditions, all types of water. It's supposed to be the most tolerant. It's supposed to flourish in any kind of water environment so if this one dies then uh, yeah things are not looking too hot here on our pool to pond conversion here it's just too toxic water here I think it's the problem but anyway we'll find out we'll see what happens so I think with all that done now I think we're at a pretty good position here to end this episode so hope you guys enjoyed it please like and subscribe if you did and many more episodes to come.